Welcome back. Uh, I want to take a break from talking about weather to talk about something else that might be hitting the ground at some point. We're talking about an asteroid. Now, I don't want to ruin your weekend or your week or your day or get you all too scared about anything. It does almost sound like science fiction or a movie, but here's the deal. There was a recently discovered space rock, um, an asteroid that has been dubbed 2024 YR4. So this is means it was discovered in 2024. It was discovered at the uh, El Sauce Observatory in the nation of Chile. And it was only discovered on December the 27th. So very, very recently. And by the way, why why does it why don't we know where all of these things are? It seems like we would know, right? Well, these uh, objects are very dark. And so even with the technology we have, if we're using, you know, what you would call uh, like optical or you know, visual telescopes, these things are moving really fast and they're relatively small, uh, at least compared to other objects in the solar system. And they're very dark. And so it takes some incredible technology to even find them. And sometimes you don't see them until they're, you know, a little too close for comfort. Uh, so the... Um, uh, the, the astronauts down there in Chile uh, initially detected this um, object using optical telescopes, which is, you know, what you would see with your eyes, obviously greatly, greatly magnified. Subsequent tracking was conducted with ground-based observatories. So that's where you can use uh, other types of you know, other frequencies of light uh, to maybe get a different view of it. And then it was entered into NASA's Near-Earth Object Observations Program. It's called the Near-Earth Object. These are um, space rocks that NASA keeps a database of. And in fact, you can go to their website, even if you just go to Google right now and type in NEO, you know, NASA NEO for Near-Earth Object, you could see a whole list of them, where they are, how far away they are, their estimated size, and what the chances are of them impacting the Earth. And we'll talk about that here in just a moment, because I know that's what y'all want to know, right? What's the deal with this one? Um, it was noticed because, um, well, after it was noticed, shortly after its discovery, the initial predictions, right? So remember, this was discovered just this past December. The initial predictions were that it had about a 1 in 32 chance of hitting the Earth. That's about a 3% chance. That's pretty scary. Uh, when was it expected to hit? In uh, the year 2032. So we're not talking about like next week, but that's still, I mean, come on, but that's not that far away. Um, that estimate of impact was lowered to 1.6% uh, in January, and I believe it has been lowered a little bit more since then, which we'll talk about here in a minute. So what are some of the characteristics of this asteroid called YR4, uh, it is uh, estimated to be between around 40 to 90 meters in diameter, uh, between 130 to 300 feet. So it's been described as the size of a football field. The thing is, you have to realize it's not flat like a football field is. We're talking about an object that also is probably not round. Most of the time, they're kind of, you know, oblong, you know, sort of shaped, you know, irregularly shaped. But if this thing is, um, you know, 100 yards across, that, that is definitely pretty scary stuff. What is it made out of? Well, uh, rock or metal. Not the music, but, uh, you know, it, it could be made out of rock, um, like silicon-based rock, or, you know, sometimes there's, there's calcium. There's, you know, the kind of rocks that you would see here on Earth. Uh, or it could be more metallic, uh, mostly made of iron, iron or nickel. So it, we may never find out. Um, how does it compare to other asteroids that, you may be familiar with. For example, how does it compare to the asteroids that hit the Yucatan and wiped out the dinosaurs 65 million years ago? Well, I'm glad to say it's smaller than that one uh, because that one was uh, estimated to be about 10 kilometers across, about six miles across. This one is nowhere near that territory uh, because if something like that hit the earth, we would be, you, know, you better say your prayers. So we're not worried about that. It is larger though than the uh, Chelyabinsk meteor which was, I think, the, such a memorable event for me. It was, I think, the greatest coincidence in the history of mankind. This hit Russia back in 2013. What was amazing was it hit on the same day that another asteroid 
was whizzing by the earth. We were talking about it on the news. It was a big thing. This completely separate asteroid that did not hit the earth, but just by coincidence, um, an un previously unseen meteor hit in Russia, exploded, uh, blasted out windows and, and set off a fireball. And it happened on the exact same day that we were watching another one. That, to me, that was the craziest coincidence that I've ever heard of. Um, it is believed to be similar in size to the uh, 1908 Tunguska uh, um, event. This was one that was a big mystery. It knocked down uh, trees over like 2,000 um, square miles of land in Siberia. Uh, it's moving at approximately 40,000 miles per hour with respect to the Earth. So you definitely don't want something that's 100 yards wide um, impacting the Earth at 40,000 kilometers per hour. That wouldn't be good at all, right? What can we do to defend against it? Can we do anything to defend against it? Well, there are a few things that they're working on. NASA has a mission called the DART mission. Um, remember, they bumped into an asteroid. It was called uh, Dimorphos. This happened two years ago. Um, kind of bumped into it to see if they could deflect its movement. All right, they were successful in doing that. Uh, so they have what's called a kinetic uh, impact, which is where you try to hit it with something like a rocket, a missile or something like that that's moving really fast. You also have a, a nuclear option <laughs> where you can send up a nuclear weapon to explode near this thing and hopefully push it away. Bottom line is this, all right? Initially, it was given a 3% chance of hitting the Earth. That's now been toned down to a 0.28% chance, about 1 in 360 per, uh, chance of impacting the Earth in about seven years. Um, it is expected to drop further. Believe me, you will hear more about this as we get closer, because if it were to hit the Earth, if it hit the ocean, it would create a huge tsunami. If it were to hit the Earth, it would create a large impact crater, and God forbid it were to hit a city. So right now we have about a 1 in 360 chance of that happening with this 100-yard wide uh, football field-sized asteroid. <laughs> so sleep well, everybody. Um, we'll be back with more forecasting with friends <laughs> and some happier news coming up next.